What is up guys? Welcome to day number 7 of our 10 days yoga challenge. Today's practice is all about forward folding. So if you always wanted to touch your toes with your hands, this practice is going to do just that. I remember when I began practicing yoga that I couldn't even reach my shins with my hands just because my hamstrings were way, way too tight. And if that's your case, I promise you that your hamstrings is one of those muscles that stretch super, super rapidly and easily. So if right now you're touching your shin, by the end of this practice, you'll see that you'll get like, maybe like an inch or two or even more closer to your feet. But if you keep doing this practice and all the practices that you're going to do in the future, I promise you that you're gonna to be touching your toes in no time. However, there is a famous saying in yoga that says, it's not about reaching your toes with your hands, but it's about what you learn on your way down. That couldn't be farther away from the truth because it really doesn't matter how you look doing yoga or how flexible you are in this precise moment in time. The only thing that matters is that you're showing up into your mat, you're showing up into your practices, and you're doing the best that you can. So a couple of things about forward folding. Forward folding is the complete opposite of back bending. So our spine can go in many directions, but the two main ones that we have is flexion and extension. Flexion would be forward folding and extension would be back bending. Of course your spine can move in many directions such as side flexion, side rotation, but the two main ones are forward flexion and backward extension. So as I said yesterday, when we're doing back bending, we're practicing openness and we're practicing courage. And now in the other hand, when we practice forward folding, we're practicing more of a surrendering type of mindset. So when we're talking about surrendering, it's definitely not about a giving up mentality, but instead about accepting things the way they are in this precise moment. So for this practice, I really want you to focus on surrendering and accepting yourself as you are right now in your practice. Whether you touch your toes or not, it doesn't really matter. Please surrender to every pose that we're going to go through and just let any emotions, any thoughts, any pain or discomfort arrive. Watch it for what it is, accept it and just let it go. That's all I have to say. I'll see you guys all in your practice. All right guys, let's begin this time standing up. Close your eyes and bring your hands to your heart center. Begin to bring your attention to your breath, activating your Uyai breath. Small contraction on the back of the throat, making an S sound when you inhale and an H sound when you exhale. Begin scanning your physical body from the tip of your toes to the top of your head. On the next inhale, open your eyes, raise all the way up, hands together, exhale, forward fold. Since this is the first forward fold of the practice, you can keep a slightly bend on your knees Grab both elbows with your hands and start rocking side to side, feeling your hamstrings opening up slowly. Let your weight come down while you feel your spine getting long and long towards the ground. Release your hands and bring your arms around your legs, maybe to the back of your calf or the back of your feet. Use the strength of your arms to push you a little deeper into the fall. On the next inhale, plant your hands on the floor and lift your chest. Then exhale, plant your hands a step or float to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale to the first downward facing dog of the practice. Press firmly into your hands, look in between your knees. 
begin bending one knee at a time so you can focus exclusively on each one of your legs. We're gonna stay a couple more breaths in this pose. Try to make each inhale longer as well as your exhale. On the next inhale, bring your left leg up towards the sky and exhale, bring your knee towards your nose. Plant your foot. The back foot is gonna twist 45 degree. Both legs are straight for triangle pose. Fall with your back straight. Then inhale, lift a little higher and exhale, fall a little deeper. You can now begin to round your spine and rest your hands over your shin to help you with the balance. If you're finding really hard to balance on this pose, maybe try a wider stand on your feet. Keep your attention on your breathing or you're opening up your left hamstring. This is without a doubt one of my favorite poses to get really deep into the hamstrings. On the next inhale, lift your chest and walk the back foot towards the front foot. Exhale, fall. We're just gonna hold here for a couple breaths. Begin to feel how different it feels your left leg from your right leg now. And try to find or create harmony in between both sides. Inhale, lift all the way up and exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, back up, raise high, look at your thumbs, and exhale, fall. Take a deep inhale and lift your chest, plant your hands, and step or float back. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing. We're gonna be taking five deep, long breaths in this pose. If you feel your shoulders getting tired, remember that you can always go to child's pose at any time in your practice. On the next inhale, bring your right leg up towards the sky, connect your knee to your chest, plant your foot, and your back foot is 45 degree. Inhale, raise up, and exhale, fall, keeping your back flat. On the next inhale, lift your chest a little higher and fall a little deeper, rounding your spine this time. Grab your shin around or maybe get your hands to the floor. Find your space and explore to find that place where you feel the stretch, but it's not too painful that you cannot hold the pose. Finding that edge on every pose is one of the most important aspects of your practice. On the next inhale, lift your chest and walk both feet together. We're gonna keep a wider stand this time. Exhale, fall and grab both elbows with your hands. Start rocking up and down without being too hard on yourself. Let's go for 10 more together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, release down. Grab the big toes with your fingers, inhale your chest up and fall, bringing your chest closer to your knees. You can keep a slightly bend if you don't reach the floor and slowly begin to extend your legs. Even if you reach the floor, bend your knees, get a deeper fall and then extend to a much deeper stretch. On the next inhale, lift your chest up and exhale, release your hands down to the floor or to your shins. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, fall completely. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, a step or float to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing. 
an Excel child's pose. Let's take a moment here. Rock side to side. Feel your low back standing. Releasing all that tension that we tend to carry in that area. Begin to slow down your breathing as we move closer to the end of our practice. Slowly come back up and move to a comfortable seated position. We're going to open our legs about 90 degree. If you're unable to sit in this position, you can place a cushion below your sit bones. Then you're going to inhale and lift your chest as much as possible. Then just do a slightly fall, keeping your back flat. Whenever we're folding, we're trying to get as deep as we can with our back straight. Then after and only after is when we start rounding our spine. And we didn't just compress everything together, but the same as we did yesterday on back bending, we try to keep our spine long so we keep it healthy and we can also get deeper into the pose. Start rocking side to side, explore your space and explore your pose. Inhale if your chest is a little higher and exhale fall a little deeper. I know how hard this position can be, especially if you have never done it before. And I know also that it can be really frustrating if you are basically unable to even sit. But trust me, if you are consistent with your practice, your body will open up faster than you think. We're going to be holding this for about a minute more or so. If you freaked out when I said one minute, watch your thoughts and watch what part of yourself is resisting. Or maybe you went too deep, too fast and you just want to get out of the pose. If that's the case, don't just give up and go back to a seated position, but just Take a step back and find that place where it feels relaxing but challenging at the same time. Keep making those inhale longer and those exhale even longer than the inhale. Surrender into the pose and just watch your emotions, your thoughts all the physical sensations that you feel. Always check with yourself. Are you being here now? Or are you thinking about the future? And when the practice is going to end? Or what did you do yesterday? What went wrong? What went right? And make a conscious effort to be here and only here. Inhale and slowly walk your hands closer to you. Feel the relief on your legs and all the sensations in your hips, your hamstrings. Bring both legs together, inhale lift your chest and exhale, fall with a flat back. Ground your sit bones to the floor and send those hips back so you feel a deeper stretch. Inhale raise your chest a little higher and fall a little deeper. Whenever you feel ready, start rounding your spine without compressing, but instead feeling every vertebra that you have extending and getting longer and longer. You can rest your hands on the floor, on your shins, and resist the temptation to just grab your feet for the sake of grabbing them. Whichever your place is, that is the perfect place to be for you right now. We're gonna be holding this pose for about one minute more. So make sure you're in a comfortable place. Every time you feel your body getting a little more open, it might be a time for getting a little deeper into the pose. 
if you pay attention carefully and you listen to your body, you'll know when it is time to go a little deeper and when it is time to take a step back. As I said on the beginning of the practice, forward folding can teach you to really surrendering and letting your body speak to you. The hamstrings is one of those muscles that stretches really fast, but you also need to be careful because it can be easily be overstretched. That's why forward folding will teach you to be patient and compassionate with yourself. On the next inhale, lift your chest and slowly walk your hands closer to you. Bend your right leg and bring your left knee across. Raise your right hand towards the sky and exhale, twist towards your left, looking at your left shoulder. Use your elbows to push your knee and get a little deeper into the twist. After all that folding forward, there is no better option to end your practice than with a twist. That will reset your spine and bring your mind back to equilibrium. Release your hand and your legs. Bring the opposite knee on top. Inhale your left arm towards the sky and exhale twist to your right, looking at your right shoulder. Slowly release and today we're going to finish off the practice on a seated position. This is my preferred method of meditation when I finish my practice. Just because when you are sitting you're a little bit more aware and just overall awake while your mind and body enters into a state of meditation. Of course this can be way more challenging to your mind and also to your body. The reason I'm choosing to be seated today is because since we work on our hamstrings and our hips, our body feels open and we can sit down more comfortably. Please feel free to stay here for as long as you can. Thank you for showing up today and allowing me to share my practice with you. I wish you all a beautiful and peaceful rest of the day. Namaste.